What are your conditions? Pick a rudder, any rudder. We have four different rudders right now. As we started thinking about things, we realized one, we can't design a rudder that's designed like a jet plane because jet planes move really fast and in canoes you move kind of slow. And if you take a real good look at it, it kind of looks like a Cessna wing because we kind of looked at, okay, there's jets and there's Cessnas and canoes to me are Cessnas. A Cessna is a small plane that flies at slow speeds which means it mean, needs more lift to get off the runway. And it can fly at a slower speed and not fall out of the air because it has better lift with the wings. So we decided to design our rudders more like a Cessna wing to give us maximum lift and minimum drag. Rudder shape, when you look at it like this, can be anything, right? It looks cool, it has this design here. But the real trick behind it is, where is the foil, where is the wide point, and where does it come narrow? I mean, this is the 10.3. And I designed this for a small day. So if I'm, say it's a small Hawaii Kai run, you know, one to two feet, and there's no weeds. If I use this rudder, I get a little less drag. If it's a bigger day, for me, anything over four feet, I'll use the 11.5 edge rudder, right? I get a little more length. I get way more control on the bump. The boat doesn't slide on me. So if I'm gonna paddle in the Newport Beach Back Bay Harbor, um, where there's a lot of weeds, I'm gonna use the weed rudder. This one's swept back enough to catch the weeds slide them off when I'm going. I don't have to stop and take them off the back of my boat. Also, I have minimal drag and I still have enough control with this. Now the surfing weed, which is right here, we designed, I mean, right along the lines of the edge rudder with as far as the lift and the minimal drag when you're turning. But when you go to do a downwind run in Newport Beach, you're gonna catch kelp or weeds, right? The small rudder, the swept rudder doesn't give you enough control. The weed rudder or the regular edge rudder catches weeds all day, right? So we try to design something with enough length and to be swept back a bit to let the weeds come off. So with all of these rudders, well, we tried to get the drag as less as possible when it's straight, at least to what our other rudders were. But every one of these now, when you turn, you get more efficiency, you get better lift and you get less drag. Your rudder is rarely straight when you're paddling. If you're in the bumps, you're always going left or right. If you're even in the flat water, you're always kind of going a little bit left or right. So to have a rudder that is only optimal straight ahead like this and gives you drag or stall when you turn is a problem. So you show up to a race and you pick your weapon, right? I mean, our goal with the different types of rudders that we were designing was um, to be able to show up to a race, look at your conditions and choose what rudder you're going to use. And, the, you know, with the ozone rudders, we have just a Phillips head screwdriver takes the rudder off. So within, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, you can change your rudder from what's on there, depending on the water you're in. <laughs> I'm gonna talk a little bit about the edge rudder and so is that squirrel, obviously. <laughs> the bottom line is it's best to have at least three of these. So that if you have a lot of weeds and it's in the flat or you're doing a time trial, you go with the short swept back. If you're out there and you have kind of bump and you want to have enough control but not catch weeds, use a surfing weed. If you get a big day, go to the straight edge. I mean, it's simple. If you don't, and they're so easy to change, right? You got a Phillips head screwdriver, you, you show up, you look at the conditions, you change your rudder off. It's no big deal. It's worth it.